Faith Under Fire display at your local Barnes & Noble bookstore. The controversy surrounding gay marriage and parenting is a polarizing issue for people of faith. And here to discuss this issue is Daryl Foster, who lived single and gay for 11 years, but is now married with four children and pastoring a church in Atlanta, Georgia. And here's Jeff Lutz, a family psychotherapist, who with his gay partner started a family by adopting a son four years ago. Both Daryl and Jeff are professing Christians. So Daryl, what are your objections to homosexual couples adopting or raising children? Well, you know, first of all, my uh, my primary objection is this is a this is a detour from the Creator's intent uh, for human beings. And, and gay marriage, gay adoptions, gay parenting—all of these things are complex issues because we haven't understood the fundamental things, which is that the Creator uh, put the male and female role model. He constructed that for a purpose, and uh, here we are already tinkering with that at the expense of children. And Jeff, what's your response to that? What do you think God believes about gay parenting? I was raised in the Southern Baptist Church. My father was a deacon. My mother was a Sunday school teacher. I sang in a youth group called the Jesus Kids. Uh, I gave my testimony every youth Sunday. So God has always been a huge part of my life and remains a cornerstone of who I am today. But I also discovered along the way that I'm gay. And, you know, to me it doesn't uh, do any good to debate Scripture. Most parties just stay stuck in their, in their belief systems. But I can tell you that that uh, while Daryl certainly has a right to his beliefs, he um, he's not he doesn't have the only Christian voice. These are not my personal beliefs, and I didn't come to argue the Bible. But as Christians, uh, if Mr. Lutz or Jeff says he is a Christian, then Christians should have one singular belief. Those beliefs should come from one source document, which is the Bible. Now, if we begin taking the Bible and using it for our own personal, uh, you know standards, then that's where we have a problem. And I didn't come to question Mr. Lutz's Christianity, but I did come to uh, 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 re reassert the fundamentals of Christian truth, is that uh, the Creator, who created us all, uh, had a male and female model for a purpose. He constructed that, and it's the gold standard. Anything is less, uh, anything beyond that is less than what the Creator intended for a child, and we're talking about gay parenting, for a child's best interest. And so I don't understand how two men or two women can uh, substitute themselves when the Creator's intent was for the male and female role model for the child. Okay, Jeff, do you disagree well, that that was the Creator's intent? Sure, I think that's Daryl's interpretation of the scripture, and again, he has a right to that, but that's not a universal belief. There are a lot of people, gay and straight, who disagree with that interpretation. I don't see, and, I don't uh, see how they could disagree with that because those are the blueprints. Uh, even when we build a house, the, the person building the house is, consults the blueprint in order to build it correctly. And what we have here is someone trying to construct the model at the expense of the male-female model. They're deconstructing the male-female model so that they can build something that's really a false image of, of, of God's intent. Daryl, I disagree, and I can tell you that God is alive and well in my family. You know, I think if you talk to our neighbors on our street, if you talk to the families that we socialize with from my son's school, if you talk to the other families on my child's soccer team, uh, they're just going to tell you that we are a remarkably unremarkable family. I mean, we worry about the same that. kinds of things. The issue is whether or not we have taken the, the intended model and changed it into something that is not good for children. I think if you saw our son and you knew where he came from and how happy he is now, you might change your opinion. You might say, well, gosh, this is clearly in the best interest of this child. He's just doing great, and that's because he has two people that love him with all of our hearts and do everything we can for him. And I believe God is much more happy about that than him not having anybody to care for him Jeff, just because we're two men. Well, let me ask this. Is there something, um, when gays adopt a, a child, is there something missing from not having those two genders represented in the home? 
Actually, absolutely not, and that's a common misconception. You know, we don't raise our child in a vacuum. He's exposed to lots of different positive female role models at his school, our friends, and our family. Our family is all involved in his care. So he's exposed to uh, women as well as the two of us. And the research is very clear in this area that what matters is the, the connection and the warmth between the two parents. That when that's in place, that's what matters, not sexual orientation. Here again, uh, you know, uh, I don't want to call Mr. Lewis a gay activist, but the truth of the matter is that we're being, the American people have been force-fed an ideology that has not not been proven. Uh, there have been no independent studies. There have been no credible studies to show that That's what he's doing wrong. is good. Dr. Judith Stacy did a very comprehensive study in the American Sociological Review of the sociological research in this area, and she said very emphatically that the research is clear. There are no deficits in gay and lesbian parenting. There are differences, just like I assume there are differences in the way that the Hindu family next to me raises their son, but uh, there are no deficits in this area. And if oh, okay, you... Jeff, let, let's wait a minute. Let's get Daryl's take on the research when we come back after this break. Stay with us. Up next, does scripture change? We are building a false premise that he is gay and therefore God uh, accepts this uh, homosexuality when in, in all actuality that's in violation of the scripture. Many people of faith years from now are going to look back and say, oh my gosh, what did we do to gay and lesbian people in the name of God? Lucky viewers want a thousand in cash. Plus